Okay, welcome to this question on page 174. Um, it's the bottom left hand model of the question on auxiliary elevations, and the book is one Understanding Technical Graphics by John O'Sullivan. Okay, published by Gillian McMillan in about 2006. Right, so the question is uh, this is, topic is based on auxiliary elevation, so we have to project an auxiliary elevation from the plan that will show the true shape of surface S. So this is the true, sh or this is surface S here. Okay, now um, here we have okay, the question here. Right, um, now and then here. So we're going to draw the true shape of that. So we're going to look, we're going, what we're going to do is we're going to take an auxiliary, looking perpendicular to this here, perpendicular to surface S to show the true shape and we have to put in our hidden detail lines. Okay, right, we're going to begin. So, we're going to project from plan at 90 degrees to the edge of surface S. So there's surface S, so I'm going to project from plan at 90 degrees to surface S. So from all the points in plan at 90 degrees to it. And then I can just bring these projection lines on further, which I'll do now. Now, with our projection lines drawn in, okay, our X1, Y1 line can be perpendicular to our projection lines. And after this, that's the 45 degrees. Okay, so I'm drawing in my uh, X1, Y1 line at a right angle to my projection line, so that it must make a right angle to my projection lines, right. So there's my X1 and Y1 line. Now what I'm going to do is take my height from uh, elevation, okay, and put them over to my auxiliary elevation. So I'm going to take the heights here, so here's the height of the green surface. Lift, I'm just going to mark it here. The next one here, the height of the red surface lift. I'm going to mark it there. And then I have to do the height of the yellow surface. Lift. Mark it there. All right, and I can draw the lines parallel to the X1, Y1 line then. So these are lines parallel to the X1, Y1 line. Okay, now the points in plan uh, will represent lines here. Okay, they'll represent lines in our auxiliary elevation. I have two more lines to bring up that I forgot to bring up. Okay. So the green surface appears as an edge here, including surface S. So there's surface S. So the green surface runs from here to this one. Look, that point there followed along here. So it runs to there. So I'm going to heavy that in. Uh, and then this point in plan is a line 
in our auxiliary elevation. It represents this line. So it's a heavy line. Here is another line. This is the true shape of surface S. So that's the true shape of surface S. Now, more stuff to do. All right, I'm going to do the red. Here's two points on the red surface he here. Now, these, these won't be lines. They, these will just be points, as you can see in 3D. Okay, so I'm going to there, and they're on top of the green surface. So they're on the purple where it appears as an edge. So that's where those two bad boys are. Now, this point, okay, here, you can see in the yellow, it's right up there. So it goes up to the top one. So I'm going to join them together. Now, those two points join in 3D. They join here, they join here, so they have to join there. So I'm going to heavy them together. Okay. These two points, same thing happens. That's them in plan. That's them in elevation. The heights remain the same. So this one followed up to the top, right there, look point brought up and there's the bottom of it now I'm going to join them together so that's the red surface there okay there's the e yellow now I'm going to target okay this uh, a portion of this blue surface here so it goes the blue surface goes back to there so it's right there. So I can heavy that in. And I could heavy it all the way here. So I'm going to heavy it until it hits the gold one. And look, there's the gold surface there. There's an implant. The middle height. So I'm going to heavy down to here. Now, the gold surface it's the bottom there you can see there these bad boys join together so they join together now we're going to get this side here so that face that's where it is in plan so look that's the point we bring up and this is the bottom of it so we bring them together and we join those together right now that goes line goes down to there so I'm going to heavy that in Okay, and then this uh, bond surface here, this is there in plan. So it's in between those two lines, and it's that height. So here's the bond surface. And then the hidden detail, right? This point is a hidden detail line. All right, that's a hidden detail line there. It's in the way, the green surface, which is there, blocks it. The red surface blocks it too. So this is a hidden detail line here. Now, there's no more hidden detail lines uh, as of yet, as all those is, uh, at the back, all those points are on the one surface. Two surfaces, two sloped surfaces intersect at a line. The, at the back, they're not sloped, they're flat, they're uh, coplanar. Uh, right, so I have to render these quickly.
So that's what it looks like when it's done. All right, uh, add in the notes to find the true shape you need of a surface. You need to project from a view where the surface appears as an edge. Uh, remember, we projected from plan. The lines were perpendicular to the edge view of surface S to be able to see its true shape. We took our height from our elevation and transferred to here. Here's a view of the model in three dimensions. So to probably get a greater understanding of what it looks like. And what, while we're, there we have it. So that's it there. This was the view from elevation, the plan view, and then looking perpendicular to it. There we go, we can see our hidden detail here. So we just have the one line. You can see the back of it. There's no hidden detail side of it. And then finally, the key principles used. Okay. If you look perpendicular to a line, you see its true length. So a line projects its true length when a view is taken looking perpendicular to it. Uh, a plane, or this one here, a line projects as a point or when you look along its true length. So this watch call it line here in the green, that projected as a point because uh, we looked along its true length and we recognize that here a plane or a surface projects an as an edge when any line on that surface projects as a point and then finally the true shape of a surface or a plane is seen uh, on a, a projection plane parallel to the plane so what does that mean so the true shape of surface s is seen on a plane it's parallel to the surface S. So look, in plan, the auxiliary, okay, or the X1, Y1 line is an edge view of the auxiliary vertical plane. And that's then there parallel. And then to see the view, it's folded down. So actually all that image there actually also appears along the X1, Y1 line in plan. That's very complicated to, uh, to understand that one. Right. Cheers. Thank you. Bye-bye.